Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. In my hands is one of this week's new releases. It's Shoplifters Will Be Liquidated, number four. Uh, released from Aftershock Comics, and it is written by Patrick Kinlan, uh, who's a co creator with Stefano Simeone, who's the artist. Uh, Hassan Atzmain, who is the letterer, and then Simeon did the cover as well. Uh, so Shoplifters will be, uh, will be Liquidated is a really interesting series. It's kind of like about a major uh, mega corporation, and then these people that live underground who steal from them, and a person whose uh, uh, entire job is to you know prevent theft, um, and it's a pretty like militant over the top uh, concept. There's people who are trying to like steal from the company and make billions, and it's a it's a wacky wacky series. Um, and I've read I, I missed the first issue. I picked up on the second issue, uh, and obviously third and fourth. Uh, you know, this being the fourth read, um, it, it's a really interesting series. I like the concepts. I think there's actually too much thrown in here at once. Um, and the series is a little bit jumbled. Uh, out of everything I've run from Aftershock, this is starting to be one of the ones I'm, I know, I'm not going to say I dislike, but, um, it's, it's, because I want to see where it goes, it's just not one that's, it's quite grab, grasping me like some of the other ones that I've read. Um, I, I, I think that the concept, like, I love the concepts. There's so many good concepts in this series. The series just isn't focused. There is so much going on, um, so many plot lines that, and then the characters, to me, are a little confusing to keep track of uh, who's who. Uh, but there's so much going on that nothing quite does justice. Like, this idea of this underground society and then the, and then the um, store above and the theft and all that stuff. Like, that can be a plot unto itself and that's an entire arc that should just be focused on with maybe teases of what else is, is going on. Um, and then the theft from the company... Um, that should be a storyline and just a, a plot arc. Just focus on that um, with teasing some other stuff. Um, there's like really interesting ways to do what the series is doing. I think it's just doing trying to do too much at once, and none of it is quite getting the um, the justification uh, or just the focus and and the time that it needs. Um, and it bounces around a lot, which kind of is I think kills some of the momentum all out of it. Uh, I, again, I like I love the concepts, and the comic actually makes me laugh a lot. Um, for a comic that at times I have no idea what the hell is going on, or like just utterly confused and really have to focus on, um, there's things that get me to really, really laugh in this. Like it's witty, it's smart. It's just one of those that like I think s I wish it had someone who kind of sat down and be like, no, 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 to do, do this is one arc, this is a second arc, and then you can weave the two together so that when you read the first arc, it gives hints on the second arc, and when you read that second arc, it'll then tie back and you'll say, oh, that's some things from the first arc. Like, you can do something like that, and then maybe a third arc, you, you tie it all together at that point. Um, I think that that narrative would have worked a lot better. I don't know if this is going to come together eventually where everything just kind of verges, and this is some, like, really crazy Tarantino-ish storytelling. Um, but we'll see. Like, it's, as I said, like, I, I really, really like the concepts. I'm sticking with this because I like the concept so much. So, um, hopefully it all comes together. This might be a series to read and trade as opposed to the single issues. You know, the month in between issues I don't think helps. Um, but be able to read it in one go and keep everything going or keep everything in or in order, or like lumped together might be a bit easier than the single issues, um, or buy the single issues and then read them all at once would be the other solution. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really creative series. Like it's really, really, really creative series. Um, it reminds me a lot for some reason of, of Simon Bisley's Lobo run, um, I don't know why it does, but there's just like a crazy kinetic feel to it that it, it reminds me of it. And that might be partially the art. Um, I don't, the, I mean, the art's totally different styles, but something to it really kind of reminds me of that. I and mean, it's been decades since I've read that. So if someone's going to be like, you're, you're high as a kite, that these things have nothing to do with each other. Um, but there's just, it's funny like there's an entire fight scene and a little kid's watching the fight scene and uh the guy who looks like he's gonna win keeps on telling the kid to like turn his head turn his head and the guy who's underneath is like no kid talk to us more because the guy above me doesn't want to kill me because you're standing here 
and eventually a guy's just like, well, you got to see someone get killed eventually. There's just, it's, there's something really funny about uh, just the, actually the dialogue. There are lines that are really, really well written and funny. So um, I, I appreciate the concept. I appreciate the series. I just wish it was maybe a little bit different of the narrative, the way it's, it's shaking out. So that's that. Um, you might enjoy it. Like it's, it's definitely creative. It's definitely creative and, and unique in the in the comic world. So uh, this issue is out now. Uh, you can go get it in comic shops. We got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that. Uh, by doing that, you help support our site. And uh, speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for hooking us up with this review copy. We appreciate it, and thank you for watching. Now, if you are into Aftershock, uh, you, you know, shoplifters will be liquidated. Comics in general. Check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. All at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. You name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos. Or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.